most churches, if not all, are completely full uh, it, at all hours. Uh, usually, as you know, if you go to Mass on Saturday at 6, you don't need to go on Sunday. So a lot of people elect to go to Mass Saturday. As a matter of fact, uh, when I usually go to Panama and I stay at my sister's house, she, there's a church um, not far away, walking distance, and you can hardly make it because of the cars, because everybody, it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's completely full. As a matter of fact, that was the neighborhood that I grew up in, so that was my church when I was a child. I would say the following. Uh, the youth in Panama is no different from the youth in any part of the world, he, even here in the Nordics, uh, in Norway, or in Sweden, in Denmark, uh, Iceland. Um, but I think it's very important that given the dynamic of, of life in today's modern world, uh, families or the fa family nucleus, if you will, uh, should stay as much as possible linked to the church so that the children and therefore the youth uh, have an idea and, and, and tend to have, how would I put this, uh, tend to be or grow along spiritual lines, which I think at times there is a lacking of worldwide today. So, um, like in any place, I think that you have um, healthy and you have able, spiritual young people in my country, but you also have young people that need it very badly. And I think there, uh, if you don't get it at home, the church has an important part to play. That's the way I see it. Um, this has been a... Um, I think a dream of the, of the current administration and our president, who as I shared with you is, is a devout Catholic. Um, and, and just imagining two, three, four years ago that this would have happened, uh, it, it was only a dream. So now it is a dream come true as they say. And having the, the visit of His Holiness uh, what more can you ask for? It is extremely important for such a small country as ours to host the World Youth Day. So um, it, it is a great event. It is a great event for the Republic of Panama and the city of Panama, by that matter. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's a big deal, as they say. Absolutely, as I tried sharing, I think that you're going to be pleasantly surprised our people are a very open people. We have big hearts. Um, we are very warm. And I think that you will be received with wide open arms. And I, and I am almost sure, I, I can guarantee you that you're going to enjoy your stay in Panama. And not only from a spiritual point of view, but also from, from other points of view. It is a very beautiful country, as I say, or as I said, you can, you can have breakfast in the Pacific and have dinner in the Atlantic in one day.